today we have with us uh, Alejandra Sandoval, who is a senior engineering student in her final year at the University of Texas at El Paso, and she's studying industrial engineering. So I'd like to welcome you today. Thank you for, for being with us. Thank you. So Alejandra, you're working on a project that covers safety, ergonomics, and human factors in engineering of biomedical device design. Could you tell us a little bit about your project? My project uh, is related with all the rehabilitation uh, devices and that is like prosthetics or orthopedic devices for uh, bone rehabilitations. The focus is that we want to implement FDA regulations, all safety, all human factors and ergonomics into the rehabilitation design. Yeah. And what we want to do is like implement all these regulations at the first stage of the design process because what happened is when a designer came up with a design and they want to put it in the market, what happened is that FDA come and say, you need to revise that you are following all these regulations so you can really put your device out of the market and you need to ensure that the patient will be safe enough for wearing this device for the practitioners and the therapists to manipulate it. The FDA could take about 10 years for the approval of all the, the regulations. So we came up with the idea of design uh, a model that introduced all the regulations and all the human factors considerations and ergonomics at the beginning of the design process. How does this research, how does your model uh, help biomedical uh, uh, device designers uh, going forward? They will have a pattern to follow when they want to design for, for uh, any type of biomedical device. They can take a look on our model. Our model is, in, is very abstract, so it can be adapted to any type of design. And, um, so this will make easier the life of the designer. Let me just give you like a quick example of one of our um, devices that we introduced uh, this model because we want to test it. Yeah. Uh, it was a bone fixator. Um, some people um, may know or have using this type of devices. It's a 360 circumference device when you have a bone fracture. So one of the mechanical senior teams were working on this project. Right. And so they follow our integration model. And what they want to do is to cut the bone fixator in half. But they, they have the engineering challenge of providing the same support and safety that the entire circumference will provide. Correct. Mm, but with the help of our model, they were integrating safety and ergonomics into the design. At the same time, they were designing uh, a strong uh, device for the patient. So thank you on behalf of the ASME for sharing this experience with us. And uh, thank you very much. It's thank a you. Thank you.